Nog's Box for all your gaming, modelling, and box opening needs. Hey guys, welcome to Nox Box. I am Nox himself. With me tonight is Cordial Wob. Good evening. Tonight we come bearing this week, no, last week's GW release and this week's upcoming GW release. So this is what we're going to have on the shelves bright and all by in about a few hours in the Saturday morning. These are the new Administratum Mechanicus. Admech. Admech. Oh, Adeptus Mechanicus, sorry. Adeptus Mechanicus, or the Admech. Cogboys. <laughs> These are the Skitari. So the Codex is also out this weekend. And we thought we'd have a look at last week's uh, Skitari standard guys. And the Caesarean yeah. Infiltrators and the Caesarean Rust Stalkers. Yeah, these which are... I assume are the Elite slots. These make two options. They are the Vanguard and the Rangers, which I assume will be the troops' choices. That is literally everything. Should we crack them open? Okay, we'll start in that case with the Skitari. Woo! Now... Uh, close camera? Yes, please. Close camera it is. Okay, so this is the Skitari Rangers and the Skitari Vanguard. Now, what do you know so far about the new Admech knock? Uh, very little. I know that they are walking the line between heresy and non-heresy. They have a Catan shard in Mars, which they're, which they're experimenting on, and they're responsible for half the Necron Tomb Worlds we're awakening, and I believe they're pretty naughty as far as Space Marines go. Space Marines. Well, they're Space Marines, but they're not. We'll start with the transfers. If I stick them there on the wood so they're easy to see. Nice. Yeah, well, it's GW. They're excellent quality transfers, as always. You've got a range of black and white. You've got... Oh! Little hazard signs. Those are cool. Have you seen those, Rob? Yes. I think those are really cool. I like the idea of that. Hazard signs on them. Right. I've got the booklet. I've got the booklet so I can read out some of the things for them because I missed last week's Dwight Dwarf, unfortunately. Well, uh, why was that, Rob? I was off enjoying myself. Why you in you Malta. Uh, Where was my invite? I think your wife would have been jealous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with Skatari Rangers. The... Fantastic. Oh... Uh... With a galvanic rifle. Oh, I'm going to have to look some of these up. Oh, they have all sorts. They have a They have a lot. I think they have a salt three haywire. Okay, so Ooh. starting from the top, these are the Vanguard helmets. Now, if I quickly... Wow, there's all sorts of... The thing is, these are all brand new pieces because yeah. it's a... There's, no, there's nothing comparable. Look at I've these guns. So this gun's got filigree work on it. Uh, which one's... Is that a long rifle? Yes, it is. Uh, that should is a radium weapon. A radium Giselle, This I is think. madness. These look almost like the old-fashioned Empire kits, but made sci-fi. That has <laughs> that has struck me, actually, because there's the... The Hockland long rifle. Uh, <laughs> if I show you the white dwarf, you've got... Wow. See, now, I know they look... People are going to be, you know, annoyed that they look like the old school empire, but I think that's amazing. I wonder if you think how the Admech adhere to old technologies and don't like people making new stuff. Oh my god, they've got robotic legs. They're not actually human. They're, uh, they're not organic. Well, no, because that's Mars takes its due. And as a Skitari, you're expected to have a certain level of augmentation. Or, if you've been a penal legion and you've been taken into the Skitari, you're instantly basically stripped down... Your brain's put into a processing unit, and off you go. Because the Skitari aren't technically worth anything alive. Wow. But they've got duty to the Forge world. That's crazy. So they are quite close to Necrons. Necrons, some, most of the, some, the higher levels of Necrons are a lot more sentient. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the, Sprue 1. Is this a three Sprue set? This is a three Sprue set. Oh, that's... These guys will have Feel No Pain. They'll have Relentless... Um, they'll have something called Doctrine Imperatives, where you might be able to do different commands. So this is Sprue 2. So let me move that one out of the way. Sprue 2 is more of the funky heads. Have you got the hooded heads the on there? 
The hooded heads hooded are heads. on this one. There's a whole those, line of them. Those are the rangers. Ah, okay. So they come with a galvanic <gasps> rifle, which should be quite interesting to find out more about. But from looking at the points, it's got 65 points for a five-man squad with basically alpha. Seems quite interesting. Um, I'm impressed with these trench coats. In, they actually look like trench coats. GW haven't covered them in skulls and iconography. They just look like really cool leatherette trench coats. If you look through this week's White Dwarf, there's some really interesting paint schemes on some. Because normally you go, oh, ad mech, they've got to be red. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're from Mars. Uh, but that's the Order of the Dragon. Oh. And then you've got some of the other orders of where they come from, will have different colour arrangements. Because if you think of the Titan Legions... Of course, yeah. ...or the Space Ring chapters, some of them, they'll have the Forge Father and things, will have their red arm patch, and same with these, same with your Tech Priests in your Guard Army, but they'll still adhere to other things depending on what combat situations or where they're operating. Absolutely, yeah, that makes sense. So, okay, let's squeeze across over here. Sorry, so we've got three fantastic sprues. Very, very good. I My personal favourites probably have actually got to be the front units for the opening just because it's nice to see the cog and the symbol and the wire and stuff like yeah. that but then you've got all these different and odd weapons so you've got is that the same they're not covered in iconography no which is really nice they've got a really kind of a real look about them that brings them together and unites them yeah but they don't at the same time they don't they're not just plastered and here is our like well, symbol well if i show you the back of the box it's only, you know, the symbol on the chest and, you know, depending how you paint them and do transfers, you get the best out of them. So these are the Vanguard. These are the Vanguard. These are the slightly cheaper ones. They're rank and file troops, I think, aren't they? Yeah, with feel no pain. And the other side, I think everything has feel no pain, so all machines. Probably. And so it's the, can you flip it over so we can see the Rangers as well? And those are the Rangers, which oh, are the Oh, that's the Hotland Long Rifle. It's... It's a Hotland Long Rifle, it's, and it's, it's amazing. It's, it's oh, I love the old Empire figures. Oh, I think that's really cool. Oh, no. They've used the proper old term, did he? Um, an arquebusk. Oh, what is it? A transuranic... Transuranic arquebus. Yes. Because Fantastic. Ar All right, okay. History lesson. Before you had muskets, you had arquebuses, which were less long range, and used stone shot. Oh, fantastic. So it's just basically a nod to the so, history of the weapons. So they really are keeping to the old names and the old looks and styles, and then if but you using upper-class weapons. You had the long barrel Giselle. Oh, which yes. Which is another sort of rifle. And Skaven have it. Yes. <laughs> Warp Giselles. Warp Giselles, because it's a well-known thing. But then you've got all your sort of background details and stuff like that. But you can see that these are going to be very striking as a unit on the tabletop. What amazes me is the unity in them. Con considering that there is... Oh, see all the uh, iconography that's on the uh, trench coats? Painted that's on. all painted on. Or yeah. transfers. transfers. And they give you more than enough transfers that you can do that. Yes. I think that's excellent. What I'll be interested to see is in the next set is that allies rules... Because I'd be tempted to do um, House Rule for a dark, um, dark Mechanicus. Oh, absolutely. There must be. I, I would not be surprised if they can ally with some of the more heretical races. Oh, oh bases. Are they on 28mm, 32mm? These are on 28mm. And then there is... Ooh, that, that's a bike which base, isn't it? Is, no, they're a bit bigger. This is for your uh, Arbesk. Hockland Lung Rifle. It's close enough. <laughs> but right. then, if you look at... Here, here it is, and you've got your mounting point, because that's the same as how it would be if it was a Giselle or some of the other long rifles that, that time period. And that is straight out the Empire Militia Sprue. Yes, close enough. <laughs> but what do you think? I think this set looks amazing. I want to see the next set. Okay. Because this set is cool, but it was the other ones that really caught my eye, because they look like pit droids from Star Wars. I and knew you were going to I love droids. I don't like the, the you know the later three Star Wars films, what episode one, two, and three. I think they're a bit naff. But they're amusing enough. I love the droids. I love droids in everything. Love droids. Okay, so these are on a bigger base. These are classified as bulky in their rules. Like yes, these are very... Terminator esque comparable, which is odd. Considering that if you look at bulky things, that doesn't jump out as bulky to me. That jumps out as more spider-like. 
Okay, so this is a two sprue kit. Is it Terminator size bases or it is it the is new Terminator large marine? Size bases. It's awesome. not the 30mm large marine bases. 30, 32, they want to be really awkward. Same transfers again. Yeah, with a warning. So, yeah, exact same transfer set. So, that's going to be a standard ADMEC transfer sheet. Be really easy to get a hold of. Here's your wonderful and exciting booklet. Now, two sprues. Only two sprues. This is more expensive and yet less models. And it's and there's two sorts of units in here as well. This is the Rust Stalkers, which are a close combat unit. So, let's have a quick look. That's the ones on the front. Those are Rust. Oh, my God. They're the pit droids. I love them. I need them. Uh, no, the better ones are on the back. Oh, now these! Ah. Oh, sorry, the front ones are... The front the ones are the coolest, are the infiltrators. The Rust Stalkers ones on the back. Yeah. They look a bit like General Grievous. I I like the look of these. I think and I think they look good. I think the Rust Stalkers but... look more chaos. Yes, I agree. Because it's when he had his sharpened talons, I was looking going, so you've got three arms and spikes coming out of you. Where's your oh, yes, star, mate? they have three. Oh, wow. And right. they've got three legs, some of them. Really? We'll come across two, them shortly. Two. Oh, they've got like a tail on one of them. Yeah. Right, let's look at the screws. Okay, so this. Screw, screw one. one. Right, so, oh, those are the pit droid heads. Yeah. Oh, they look really cool. And actually, as spare parts, you can have fun making those into servitors. Most certainly. Ooh, this has got conversion potential. I, because of the way it's all be seen oh to be designed, my God. I think it's got a lot of conversion potential. I was going to be a bit down on this kit, because it's only two sprues for 30... No, £28. Pounds. £28. Pounds. But actually, you they are they literally come in pieces, so you've got so many different options to pose them. There's a rack here of just antenna. Yes. Wow. And you've got things like the... I think they're fleshy, rif fleshy rifles. Yeah. And then there's... Stub carbines that I've got on here. Is that the exact same sprue or is that different? No, it's so that's all combat, isn't it? Oh! So, ooh, 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 sorry, my haste picking up, I can't get hold of it. No, that's fine. You've got, oh, you actually have what look to be power sword esque, you know, force, not force swords, power swords, but without all the iconographies, they actually just look like standard swords. That's really cool. Oh, and you've got these crazy looking hands. Each with three fingers, with all the blades on them. Those are ammo clips. Uh, we've got transonic Ooh. razors, cord claws, mind scrambler grenades, uh, stub oh. carbines, power swords. Uh, look at those backpacks, look at the joints. Two, uh, flesh aid blasters and taser go. So that'll be the captain's head. This is really cool. And again, they've got those trench coats to tie them in. Yeah. Ooh, servo skull. Oh, I like servo skulls. That's really cool. Oh, is that and a tail? In info slave skull. Info slave skull. And look at that and tail. Mounts, I believe that mounts to his back. H have you seen that? It's got like um the old oh what are they called? The servo tendrils, like on Delphin Russ, is it the um oh, the I know figure? You mean, um the servo tendrils? Something like that. Yeah, so if I quickly scan round there, there's how the um info slave oh. skull mounts on. Oh, wow, it even has its own kind of a computer terminal as well. Yeah. that I think these are exceptionally good-looking figures. Because uh, there's one that has a, the prehensile tie you were saying about. Yes, That's absolutely. A, a, um, a prehensile data spike. Oh, so it can plug into things. Sounds like it. I wonder if these will be able to actually interact with vehicles. Uh, some of them can. I'm aware that some of the upcoming stuff has rules that they interact with each other and start giving each other buffs. Whereas I know that most of these have something that if a unit has, I think, is a data feed, they can start buffing up their leadership levels. Oh, that's cool. Because standard, they seem to be 8, 9, I think it's a bit lower so, for standard thing. But they're roughly Space Marine-y. Yeah. Yeah. Just that's... Well, their lower toughness... Oh, they've got two wounds each. What? Yeah. Two wounds each? Those both have got two wounds each. Oh, that's pretty amazing. So that's ten wounds in a squad. Oh, that's uh, pretty awesome. But you can have squads of ten of them, right? Oh. Just just keep working your way through it. Yeah. Favourite one has got to be the infiltrators. All enemy models in six inch of one more of the models with this special rule. Neurostatic aura. Subtract one from their weapon skill, ballistic skill, initiative. And leadership. Oh, we're going to be charging wow. orcs, right? That's amazing. So they're going to be at initiative one. And what's their weapon skill? 
Yeah, not high enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rob, yeah, two thumbs up. You pleased with the ad mech stuff? I'm very impressed so far. I'll be interested to see what the next set of... The vehicle that's going to be shortly coming out. Yes, the vehicle's announced today. Or, you know, a couple of hours' time. Uh, June Crawler? June Crawler, I believe. Onager, yes. I believe. That's a very interesting-looking set of weapons, so I'll be definitely interested to so see So we'll be that. looking at that next week, Rob? Oh, most certainly. Good man. Maybe a quick eyeball at the... Uh, Codex as well. Till next time then guys. Until next time. Remember to subscribe to the channel and like us on Facebook for all of your gaming needs.